people what's going on b5 here back at you nba 2k 17 it's been a while since i played this game actually i've been playing it because uh my job was giving away some uh some monitors i, I took a couple of monitors uh, some nice high-end monitors and i wanted to play uh the consoles on i just wanted to see how they would uh you know how they would look on there because i know some people do play on monitors and you know what man it looks pretty crispy man you know it kind of reminds me of like the kiosk that you would you know you would play at like i said the game stop or whatever and you know it's just like real sharp and, and everything but uh yeah I'm, I'm digging it it's pretty nice um so i kind of you know it's just, just another option but uh anyway nba 2k 17 you know um I chose to use this as a backdrop because I wanted to talk to you guys a little bit about uh, Kyrie Irving. Now, I know this news is, you know, it's already been out there a little bit circling around, but I wanted to kind of get my two cents in there. Like, I've been, I'm kind of, I'm kind of, I ain't gonna lie, I'm kind of lazy on like making videos when it comes to like current events and stuff like that because um, I wanted to make some videos back during the finals with uh, with the Warriors and Katie and all that stuff I I just couldn't muster it up but uh, uh but you know I, I got the, I got the opportunity right now and I, I just wanted to kind of maybe touch a little bit on the Kyrie Irving situation now we all know that Kyrie Irving wants out of Cleveland you know he doesn't want to play with LeBron anymore he kind of wants to uh, you know spread his wings so to speak and you know it's kind of surprising to me you know I kind of thought that you know Kyrie would you know would be there would be there but I mean with the swirling rumors that uh, you know LeBron James is going to be leaving pretty soon and you know and, and all, probably all the other doubts that the Cleveland uh, organization have uh, about their future you know it, this doesn't surprise me like when I first heard it you know about I don't know it was about a couple about a week ago I guess it was um you know ooh, look at your boy Kawhi <laughs> but uh you know it didn't surprise me so uh, but I did want to know like why um uh, because Kyrie I think is is kind of a um he's kind of a unique player in my eyes like I like his handles like see like right now I'm uh displaying some of his handles and stuff you know some people compare him to Allen Iverson but you know is he a uh uh, an elite player see that's the thing and, and i and i thought about that i was like you know what do i really think this guy is an elite player well let me tell you what i thought really um you know when they won the championship um i i just thought when they came back and beat the warriors and i saw how um uh, kyrie irving was just you know he was kind of doing whatever he wanted to do he, he was he was taking advantage of of all opportunities um uh, he was making his shots he was a big time player um, you know, and, and, you know, he's been like, he's just been there, man. You know, he's just been like kind of the rock of the team. I mean, I know LeBron, it's LeBron's team or whatever the case may be, but you know, there's times where LeBron just becomes a facilitator and Kyrie Irving was just kind of like, you know, the man, <laughs> so to speak. And, um, and I do respect that. And I think Kyrie, uh, you know, definitely did fill his shoes. He definitely did know. Uh, what to do in those moments however I think he is a situational athlete okay now I don't, like I said I don't have no disrespect for, for Kyrie and I think he has the ability to be an elite player but um, you know we don't really know this yet because he's, he's well we kind of do before LeBron got there the team wasn't wasn't all that great and then when LeBron got there you know it became you know what they are now or they were slowly becoming what they are now but i think he's a situational athlete and what i mean by that is you know you know all of these 41s in the finals you know 35 point games and stuff i mean that's that to me it only happened because 
LeBron James has to be respected because Kevin Love has to be respected, you know, and even, you know, some of the other J.R. Smith, you know, to a certain de degree or whatever, you know, Tristan Thomas to a certain degree, you know, these, there's other people on the, on the team that you gotta, you gotta worry about. So, you know, being bloodthirsty and a scorer that, uh, Kyrie Irving is, you know, he took advantage of it and rightfully so. But what if he's on, what, uh, now he wants to leave. You know, he wants to go to either San Antonio, Miami, uh, I think the Wolves, and, or, or the Knicks, or something like that. I think those are the four that I last heard about. What if he goes to a team like that where he's the only option? Man, people are going to shut him down. They going to shut him I think the only, the only viable option out of those four I just named that he's interested in is right here in San Antonio. Because, you know, there are some other pieces. You obviously got Kawhi, you got uh, LaMarcus Aldridge, you know, and you got another night, uh, a couple of some other, can't even speak. You got a couple of other good pieces out there that, you know, you know, you can't just disregard. But regardless of why Kyrie Irving wants to leave, you know, I think he's, you know, the question is, is he an elite player? Is he somebody that can go you know, to another team and, and be the the one to bring them to a championship, to be able to uplift other players, you know what I'm saying, to be the rock, to be the franchise. You know, I think, uh, you know, early on uh, in his career when he, when he didn't have LeBron, that's probably a better, the most, uh, that's probably the best representation that we have right now. You know, going into finals and doing 41s and, and doing 30s and stuff like that. I mean, that's great. But he had LeBron James. <laughs> he had LeBron James. I mean, he was a sidekick. It was like, you know, the, the Scottie Pippen and the Michael Jordan. You know what I mean? And, um, you know, Scotty was a Hall of Famer, of course. Scotty was great. But when he went to uh, Portland, you know, he was still good. He was still good. But he wasn't, uh, he wasn't the, you know, the caliber player that we knew in Chicago. You know, let's talk about that as well. Um you know, uh, there's been a lot of players that have been really good and situational players. Okay, like for example, let's take the uh, the world champions, uh, the uh, Golden State Warriors. They had Harrison Barnes. Harrison Barnes, you know, was a uh, integral piece in that first championship. You know, after that, uh, you know, he got off his people's buzzing his ear. He went to Dallas. I ain't heard from the guy in like two years. You know what I mean? Um, you know, another player, Dwight Howard, obviously, you know, he, he's one of those situational players. Another guy would be, hey, LaMarcus Aldridge, you know, he was, uh, he was on Portland, beast, comes to San Antonio, you know, he's good, but, you know, he's not the person that they probably thought they were getting, you know what I'm saying? And of course, I got to go back to the all-time biggest hurt, you know, as a Phoenix Suns fan, um, you know. Amari Stoudemire going to the Knicks. Now, he was eating. He was eating in the Valley of the Sun. You know, Valley of the Suns, man, with, with Steve just dishing him up. He goes to New York. Garbage. Just garbage. You know, and that's Amari Stoudemire, man. You know what I'm saying? I mean, so what, I guess what I'm saying is, you know, can Kyrie Irving do this on his own without somebody else? to be able to um, allow him to do that. You know, look, like, like for example, I'm just going to throw this out there, is, is John Wall. John Wall's good. You know what I mean? Um, he's got, you know, he's got a couple other players, but but look how he's doing it. You know what I'm saying? And I kind of almost put Kyrie, you know, uh, above John Wall, but but that kind of that same kind of, you know, situation. Like, he's going to go to a team. He's going to pretty much be the only person. You know what I'm saying? Can he make it work? That's really the question. Can you make it work if you leave the keep, uh, Cleveland Cavaliers and you don't go to a team? Now, I'm going to throw this at you real quick. I would love to see that dude go to, like, New Orleans Pelicans where he would have, uh, you know, Davis and Cousins. And that's what you would talk about, a good situation. Leaving one situation and going to another. Let me know what you think.